a little concerned about tonight's show. We got some unruly ginger lesbians uh, <laughs> in Lesbian Row. <laughs> Go on over there. What, that, here? That's as far as you're gonna go? Oh, man. Why, you don't like to get too close? <laughs> Why not? It's very what's, indecisive, this one. Yeah, what's wrong with you, man? <laughs> Does it, he doesn't know? You know, I've noticed a distinct difference in your behavior since it was revealed to the public that the front end actually gets paid more than the back end. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Did yeah. you know that? Oh, I've noticed that. Yeah. Yep. Apparently, and apparently the audience applaud this. Uh, <laughs> they're happy that the... Well, well, I think the back end is... It's time for you to shine, back end. So, front end, you stay there. A back end... Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Hold it. Hold it. Maybe. Just a minute. Just a minute. Maybe uh, if you play a little music, maybe the back end can show us a reason why maybe a pay raise is in order. I think we got it about right, don't you? I think that the I think that the pay scale is is about right. <laughs> it, it's not a real horse. It, not a real skeleton. No. <laughs> not really Scottish. <laughs> I am. <laughs> you can't nod. No, I'm not able to. So, you can only answer no to questions? Yes. <laughs> Jeff, uh, would you like to come with Secretariat and I to a swanky Hollywood party? You answer only using gestures. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> it's only a joke. We haven't been invited to any swanky Hollywood parties. You guys are jerks. Look. You guys are great. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. Sponsored by Direct TV. Don't just watch TV. Direct TV. Call 1-800-DIRECT-TV. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Believable tonight, wasn't almost, it, Jeff? Almost, yes. Very, very good. I, when I heard the warm-up comedian, I, he said, "We call him a comedian." Of yeah, course, he's not really a comedian. Not really a no, comedian. He's no, he's just. Uh, he's a guy off the street. He's a perky hobo, is what he is. 
Right? Hobo. I've had a few of those in my yeah. time. That's a, is that a sex thing? It's a, a sex hobo? thing, the perky what hobo. What is it you get when you get a perky you, hobo? You get a good time. <laughs> <laughs> so, for a good time called perky hobo? Perky hobo, that's All right. right. No, I heard the warm-up Perky Hobo before I came out saying, you know, give him a, what is the organic ball of or orgasmic ball of enthusiasm. Yeah, orgasmic. Excite him. <laughs> and I was like, well, I'm already excited. Oh, and wow. then when I came out, I got a bit more excited. <laughs> Eyes up here, ladies. <laughs> Do you hear that about America's first family, of course, is in Australia right now? I'm talking, of course, about uh, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. Yeah. <laughs> See why they're in Australia? Why don't we hide? <laughs> so when they come back, they'll be like, oh, there's nobody here. <laughs> and then they'll go to another country. Yeah, that'd, that'd be good. Anyway, last night, Kanye, unfortunately, was hospitalized uh, for a migraine. Luckily, doctors were able to pinpoint the source of the migraine. He's married to <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. Get well soon, can you? I said. That's what you say. <laughs> yeah, why not? You know, there's big rumors about Kim and Kanye. The, 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 the latest is that they've made a sex video, but Kim is keeping the video locked up so no one will ever see it. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be out in pay per view next week, then it'll be on Blu ray, Netflix, a tour special on the yeah, That's right. Yeah. yeah. Interactive game with it. You can get an app for it. Press the button and things will move. Yeah, you get a you get a perky hobo. You get a perky hobo. <laughs> perky hobo is given or received. Yeah, either way, whatever you want. <laughs> There's a very big news from the world of game shows. I know you. I think you know what I'm talking about. That's right. Alex Trebek is growing his moustache back. <laughs> Sorry, let me say that again. Who is growing his moustache back? <laughs> Alex Trebek. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Right, came a little early there, yeah, it didn't did, it? It did. It's all that talk of Perky Hobos. I never cared for uh, Trebek without his moustache. He looks like a cross between a smooth Wilford Brimley and a sea lion. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen us? Have you ever had a smooth Wilford? I Brimley? have. Yeah, yeah. It's like a Perky Hobo except it doesn't scratch as much. That's right. That's right. Anyway, right. I don't know what his new moustache looks like, which leads us to play our new favourite game. Guess what Alex Trebek's new moustache looks like? Let's play. <laughs> This is a shame. It's just, yeah. Just a shame. Yeah, that's just a shame. That's just a shame. Sure. Just a shame. Just sure. I think Alex Trebek should grow a Salvador Dali mustache. What would, what would Salvador Dali think of that? Ooh! Wow. <laughs> Salvador Dali, of course, known for having an enormous head. Yes. Yes. Uh, bring it in again. Look at this. Ooh! Yeah. Ooh. That's actual size in relation to my body. That's his. That's true. That, that's why he became a surrealist. That's right. Yeah, there, there was no option. You know, when you've got a head like that, it's either that Well, or... it's become a surrealist or uh, be an anchorman. Right. <laughs> wow. George Clooney was spotted on the set of Downton Abbey. What? What? Yeah, he was, actually. Who would George Clooney play on Downton Abbey? Uh, the Earl of Gorgeous? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> what about the, the Dowager Cuteness? Yeah. Uh, Baron Von Sexy? Try another one. Uh, Prince Panty Dropper. <laughs> Try another one. Uh, the Duke of Dimple Buns. Nah, they're all rubbish. Okay, all right. All right. <laughs> you know, a man in the UK used a, a drone to get a video of the top secret Star Wars movie set. Authorities visited the man to confiscate the footage, but then they mysteriously changed their mind. <laughs> These are not the drones you are looking for. <laughs> These are not the drones yeah. you are looking for. Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah. See what I did? I got it. See what I did? I got it. Yeah. There are rumors that the Death Star makes a return appearance in the new Star Wars movie. That is, if they can get it back. It is currently owned, of course, by Dick Cheney. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, I nearly did the music, but then I changed it on the seventh note so we don't have to pay for it. Uh, 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 
Uh, I'm not doing it. Why are you shaking your head? <laughs> Why? We, we can have it. No, I changed every seventh note. We can't have it. Hillman. You are a racist, racist. man. Racist. You eat a racist. 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 Yeah. I don't go look into your friends in the audience. You see me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He turned to the audience like, what? Well, I'm not a racist. He is a racist. <laughs> <laughs> Hang your head in shame. So I'm not allowed to sing that then? But I didn't sing the song. I implied it. <laughs> if it's close enough? All right, then. Uh, let's do the music from the song. Yeah. <laughs> OK, so Darth the uh, Vader music from now on is <laughs> I am your father. <laughs> What the hell, man? Don't you think the rules of television are absurd? They're, they're out of control. Out this of is control. Outrageous. This is meant to be the land of the free. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Well, let's have some commercials. Okay. You're watching The Late Late Show with the Marquis of Man Meat, Craig Ferguson. <laughs> It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from America's favorite perky hobo, Craig Ferguson. Yeah. That, that's how you give a perky hobo. That's how you give it, yeah. You get some perky hobo music? Sure, sure. You just put on the bit you did before with a dancing horse. You, get, you know what they've man. got? They've got vinyl on a deck there, and they go, oh, play it again. <laughs> My collar funny tonight. There you Sorry. go. Looks good. That's much better. That's much better. Yeah. You look relaxed. You look relaxed. You look at ease. <laughs> Were you, why are you saying that? You know. You know. You look like you're ready. Have another sip of your water there. Go ahead. Have a little sip of your water. Yeah, you deserve it. You deserve a little beverage. Go ahead. That's a boy. Yeah. There you go. Just let that get in you. Everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> Play this jingle, would you? Sure, sure. Where I is the thing with all the police. You and your friends stay in touch, but never eat. So now the cab has come to you. Check the tweets. And your email, partner. Ask mode. Uh, all right, this is uh, from Lisa in Columbus, Ohio. I, uh, have you ever been there? Yeah, Lisa, sure, yeah. I've been You're there. from, uh, I'm from uh, Ohio, Cleveland. aren't you? I'm from, yeah, I go down to Columbus now and again, sure. Uh, well, you, but you leave from Cleveland? Cleveland, yeah. How do you get to Columbus from I, Cleveland? I uh, take the train. Take the train? Yeah. What type of a train is it? It's a steam Steam, steam train. train. <laughs> from, from Cleveland. From Cleveland. Right. So it's a Cleveland... Don't say it. Right. All right. <laughs> This is from Lisa and Columbus. I says, Craig, I love it when you have authors on the show. You should write a book too. Oh, for God's sake. Well, you've written a book. You've written a I've book. I've written two. Uh oh. Boom. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. No, you've got a third. What? You've got a third. I'm 
many books have you read? Got, no, no books, but I'm, I'm... You haven't read any books? No. You... Loser! <laughs> Loser! Loser! Are you, are you okay? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I don't know, I, I, water tasted funny and now I feel You're strangely uh, sentimental and aggressive at the same time. <laughs> Weren't you writing... The... <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Weren't you writing a third book, The Lesbian Salute or something like that? Wasn't that the... When Lesbians When Lesbians Yeah, that's, that's the one I'm working on right now. We're all waiting. We're all waiting. <laughs> all right, this is from uh, Al in Athens, Georgia. He says, uh, Craig, have you ever been there, by the way? Yeah, yeah, Al, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Says, Craig, does it bother you that I sometimes pause the DVR during your show to take a bathroom or a snack break? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely. This is from Caleb in Winchester, Massachusetts. I don't know if you can tell me he's some kind of flightless bird. Um, <laughs> he says, uh, Craig, this whole zombie uh, thing is just pure fi fiction, right? Right? <laughs> Pretty sure it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Reanimated robot skeleton. <laughs> You're not a zombie, though, technically, are you? No, no, no. I'm oh, a what are you? Uh, I'm a robot. Robot. Yes, yeah, it's built using using uh, plastic and uh, various uh, parts of different men. <laughs> I've been assembled. Well, what parts of different men have you got? In different you? different man parts. <laughs> various parts. Of have you got a lot of different man parts? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. They're all they're not here right now, but I can. <laughs> oh. You'd think they'd hang up, wouldn't you? <laughs> hello? Yeah, hello, it's uh, George Lucas, creator of Star Wars. <laughs> hello, George Lucas from Star Wars. I heard you, uh, heard you playing uh, some of my music. Trying to... No, no, absolutely no. I, I, did, I did this. Oh, wait, that's the music from the bar scene. Yeah, that's it? the bar scene. Yeah. So I'm going to sue your ass for everything you got. <laughs> you, you will not hang up the phone. You will hang up the phone. You will take off your pants. Wow. What's going on with that? You know, I will eventually. Yeah, well, eventually. Eventually. Not here. Sure, why not? Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. Uh, oh, the wind blew them all away. Uh, where, where did that wind come from? Well, I took off my pants. Oh, uh, I see, yeah. Yeah. We'll be right back, everybody. Talented actress, she stars in TV Land's monster hit Hot in Cleveland, which is now airing in syndication. Check your local listings for details. Take a look at this. <laughs> Wendy Malick, everybody, Wendy Malick. been a really good boyfriend when you weren't married. Well, why? 
Because you're a great dancer. Oh, yeah, I can dance, which yeah. means I can make love. Because if you can dance, you can make love. You'd think. <laughs> you're saying if you have rhythm, and if you feel loose with yourself and you're free to move your body, that that should translate. That usually helps good. in the sexual arena, especially if you're on your own. <laughs> oh, I know how to tease myself to the point of ecstasy. I think there are some great lovers who are not great dancers. Oh, really? Name one. <laughs> no! Ah! Nearly, though. You nearly did. I you look great tonight, by the way. I'm loving Thank that you. dress. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Snug. Snug. This here has a little bit of a snaky vibe to it, doesn't it? Is well, that kind of I was snaky? kind of thinking of you. Yes, I like it. Yeah, it's got a little bit of that, that little uh, sauvage kind of jungle feel. Oh, yeah. See, I always think of you as being kind of wild. Well, I am kind of wild. You are. You're a bit girl. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And congratulations on Hot in Cleveland. Uh, last night was the season finale. It was. So it's it was a great the most. Time to come and talk to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it would have been better now. yesterday. Uh, no, but um, it was the most watched show in the history of television. Yeah, and we are about to syndicate. We're the first show on on TV Land ever to go into syndication. We start Monday. What does that mean? That you make it more money? It means we make more money. Well, that's good. I'm always happy to hear about that. <laughs> now. I've been, I've been on Haunt in Cleveland a couple of times. Have you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Didn't you see me when I was there? <laughs> you flew through there so fast. I was pretty was quick amazing. the last time, yeah. No, this guy actually, it, it might be hard to believe, but he's actually quite a good actor. Oh, stop. <laughs> no, you were, you were a real pro. You came in, you banged it out, and off you went. And then I started acting. And then you Yeah. <laughs> but the... <laughs> No, I don't you know what happened to you me, were Wendy. You're charming and lovely, and we consider you part of our family. Well, I consider myself part of your family. It's a lovely place. It's the best set in I Hollywood. I, I haven't been on any other ones, but <laughs> it seems. We're the only ones who will have you. Yeah, you are, kind of, but it's lovely. I feel like it's just everyone's so nice and rich. Well, there's that, and uh, it's, I think it's, it's that place where everybody's just so grateful to be there. You know, we count, it sounds so cornball, but we do count our blessings there. Yeah. We are so lucky to be doing this thing we love, and we really like each other. And everyone's nice to each other. Yeah. I know, it's really nice. And you know, of course, when we have one bad apple, which every once in a while, maybe twice in, in the last four years. Well, Betty, you mean? Well, Betty. <laughs> <laughs> but if somebody comes by and they are rude to anybody on our crew, you'll never see them again. What, you mean like you killed them? <laughs> Hey, where did Lenny go? Well, he went to Hot in Cleveland. He was rude to the crew, so uh, no, that's what he ain't here no more. Then they're dead to us. Oh, right, dead to you, they're but not necessarily dead. They're dead to me if you're mean to my people. Well, yeah. okay, I think that's nice, though. Yeah, no, we're, we stick up for each other. So you've done the season finale, that's it. You're on vacation then, right? Uh, we just went back. We just started three weeks ago, so we're now doing our second... You know this. You were just there, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let me see. When well, did you go on vacation then? I did last week. I, Where'd you go? I uh, went to Los Olivos. Los Olivos? I love their omelets. <laughs> it's a reach. It's wine country. Wine country? <laughs> yes, wine country. Um, I have horses. Horses? How are you? Good to see you. Um, That's sad. And we, we rescued... Not a real, not a real I know, horse. we've danced together. I'm yeah. very fond of him, actually. It's a boy, right? Oh, I'm sorry, is it a girl? Because you have eye makeup on it. No, no, no. Oh, uh, <laughs> boys can uh, wear I eye know, makeup. I know, I <laughs> That's not news. Uh, oh. In fact, if I can just change the subject, because you don't care. No, I don't. Um, <laughs> I'm actually going to... Uh, officiate at a lesbian wedding next weekend. Are you? I didn't yeah. know you were all day. Yeah. Really? <clears throat> no. Does that mean that you hold some kind of a ecclesiastical title? I do. I, I am a reverend in the Universalist Life Church. Which do, you know, do you know who else is? Uh, Fred Rogers was a, was a minister as well, uh, but I don't think it was that. And John Waters is a oh, universal yeah. Well, life you can minister. do it in about 25 minutes online. <laughs> and this is legal? Is. And it's legal. It's legal. I mean, it, it, you know, what does it take? You get a license and you get somebody who's gone online for 25 minutes and um, but I Do you have any special seriously. robes that you'll be wearing or I'm wearing a, a red dress. A red dress. Yeah. Nice. I think. I mean, I don't want to steal focus, but uh <laughs> 
going to disappear either. <laughs> no, these are, are two of my best friends, and they are so crazy about each other, and they finally get to get married. And, I think that's lovely. You know, for so many of us who took it for granted and... Some, Me, I took, some of us... Not only did I take it for granted, I took it too far, yeah. <laughs> and <clears throat> I, too, you know, had, I had to have a tryout before I found the right one. Yeah. Um, but I think for a lot of us, we, we so take that for granted. And when you meet people who have been fighting for the right to, to marry the person they love, and they finally get a chance to do it, it is such a wonderful celebration. Yeah, that's good. And good and for you for being a minister. <laughs> yeah. and, and you get to wear a red dress and do all the talking. <laughs> well, I haven't just, I'm either going to wear a red dress or else I'm going to wear a tie and a, and a suit. Because I look good in a tie and a suit. Uh, just a tie and that's it? <laughs> and some lovely little um, skivvies. <laughs> no, it's not Hang on, I'm staying thing. in a happy place there for a minute. Give me a minute. Yeah. It's so sad that I even still try to do that. Why? No, it's... No. Come on, you can. No, I think I have to leave that to the kids. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> no, I want you to feel good about yourself. Take your clothes off and I'll compliment you. Oh, oh. But, but as a man, can I ask you something? Sure. Don't you think that there's something to be said for mystery, for not revealing everything? I have to say, I totally agree. I'm very, 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 very few people, and I am not one of them, look good naked. I mean, you, you say, oh, get your clothes off, and then you go, whoa, whoa, whoa. I wish you'd kept that bit on. No, I yeah. think, I think, no, it's better to have a little I, bit of cover-up. I, I think sometimes in this culture, we are, there are so many people who are just taking it off. There was something on that fashion thing that was on um, last night. They had some excerpts from whatever was on. Few, fashion Rocks? Fashion Rocks. Right. Yeah. And I think it was J-Lo was out there with just her underwear on, grinding away. Yeah, I've got, nothing, I've got no problem with that. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I kind of, I'm sort of. Je old Jennifer school, Lopez is you know, 45 like. years old. You see the kind of shape that woman is in? That's yeah, fantastic. She out hard. Yes, she yeah. does. That lady does her squats. She does, but. Yeah. I like dresses. So do I. Yeah. I like it all. You know, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Whatever boats your float. Boats your float? float. Absolutely. Float. We have to take a break. All right. Hi, Jeff. Hey, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> I mean, we talk about it now. I mean, we're just talking about... Hi, we were just talking about 9-11, uh, because Wendy said, hey, do you ever talk about 9-11 on the 9-11 uh, day? And I said, I, I, I have many, many times, but I don't know what to do now, other than I never... On the 9-11 show tonight, I didn't say it's a great day for America at the start of the show. It's the day of the year I don't say it. And, but it's very difficult, because it's a late-night show. There's a robot and a horse and stuff, and I don't, I don't really know where to go with it. I know. It's an odd thing, but with comedy, I always find it so interesting for guys like you who have these shows and and for me too I mean when people meet me they expect me to be funny yeah and I was doing a play called the guys which is about 9-11 and about a journalist who helped a fire chief write eulogies for his men it's a beautiful piece and it's very funny and at at times and also very poignant and heartbreaking and after doing that right after it was this I think it was in 2012 I mean in 2002 uh, Someone came up to me after the show and said, I like it better when you're funny. Yes. Uh, you know, and it's the thing <clears> of, <throat> it's a very odd thing to, to walk that line. It's to, tricky. To find a way to honor things, but know when you can make fun of them or when you can have some humor. Around well, that one I don't think I'd ever be okay with making fun of. But, the, the, I mean, it's such, a, uh, it's such a horrible, pivotal event. But, yeah. the, but the, the idea, it, it's such a tricky thing. I... I I feel like I should do something about it, but I don't know what to do because I feel sometimes that the, the, the utter, you know, the vampiric nature of the media, just the, anything they can do to try and make themselves look more important. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about everybody, you know, who talks on TV. You know, it's like somebody dies and then suddenly everybody's heartbroken for somebody they didn't know or had no connection with. I, yeah, I, 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 but I, I think, that. too, that there, there is something that, that's within our power, and that is the whole idea of celebrating life as we live it. Right. You know, of remembering those that we've lost, but also to remember that 
all of this is temporary. We're all here for a very brief moment in time in the whole vast scheme of things, and that it's like a reminder to show up every day. Sure, live now. And make the most of it, and try to share a smile with the people. Yeah. We'll give it a go. God bless you, girl. God bless you. All right. Wendy Malik, everybody, we gotta go. A terrific writer, one of my favorite writers, his latest novel, Seven Wonders. <laughs> With the shiny gold cover. <laughs> Let's get some music for it. <laughs> it's in stores now. Please welcome Ben Mesrick, everybody. Ben Mesrick. Ben. Thank you very much. I have much. to say, Ben, you look sensational oh, this evening. Thank I, you, I, 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 <laughs> That's it. I, no, I have that shirt. You have the shirt? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I, I, I got to remember to pull it down. My wife says you have to pull it down. When Did you your wife down. dress you for? My a wife dressed me. If I were dressing myself, I would look like a homeless person right now. I don't. Well, I don't have a good fashion sense. Why? Well, she's doing a great job. You got, look at you. Got your sneakers on I there. Have sneakers on. You're right? adorable. I, the pants are a little tight, yeah. I think. But no, that's good. I don't have to move very far. So no, I you. think you look great, thank man. You. Thank Just you. Do, you look like a writer who's promoting a book. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, uh, full disclosure, I, you know I read your stuff, but I haven't even started this okay. yet. Okay. Uh, so uh, tell me what's going on, but yeah. no spoilers. All right, no spoilers. Right. It's uh, Seven Wonders about the Seven Wonders of the World. It's really? Kind of, uh, what are they? <laughs> you want a list right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, right now, seven. Right. The Taj Mahal. Yep. The Great Wall of China. Yes. Machu Picchu. Yes. Chichen Itza in Mexico. It's one. Okay. I'll tell you. It, Petra in Jordan, which is that rock wall. Right. Uh, and then, uh, where am I? One, two, Dolly three. Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton. <laughs> uh, Christ the Redeemer, the big statue. Big in statue. The yeah, right. I think six. that's it. Oh, and then uh, the Colosseum. And is there, are we, did Colosseum we in Rome? One? No, yeah, no, I think yeah. that's it. Right. Yeah, and what happens the all... Thank you. I got, I got the room. Yeah. But, um, well, oh, no, thank yeah. You. Come on, it's like, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Really? <laughs> it's hard to remember, but I wanted to write an Indiana Jones type thriller my whole life. Um, and this is uh, a departure it for started you, kind friend. of as a movie. Brett Ratner, the director, who just did Hercules, yeah. and I were on the phone, and he said, Do you want to do something about the seven wonders of the world? And I was like a geeky kid who was building pyramids in my backyard and making little soldiers, Roman and Greek soldiers, fight. Um, so I thought I wanted to do something big. Uh, Indiana Jones to me was like, the coolest guy in the world. Right. And I'm terrified of just about everything in life. I'm a very kind of shriveled, pasty individual. I can't go No, outside. man, uh, no. Like no, come on. Right. You, you look like a badass that has <laughs> right. adventures. Uh, real tough guy. So the idea of like diving into jungles or climbing a pyramid is something that I personally would have a lot of trouble with. Uh, right. And uh, you never see Indiana Jones take off his hat and put on sunscreen and then put his hat back on. <laughs> so I've always wanted to do something like that, and then this was an opportunity to do it. So it's going to be. Did you do the research? Did you go I around? I did, and, and travel for me is is difficult. Right. Um, uh, I, uh, Why? Went, uh, I you know. I don't eat a lot of exotic food well, um, <laughs> or maybe it, it doesn't do well once I eat it, I think is the, is the answer. Um, and you know, <laughs> yeah, I, don't know, you know I what see I'm what you did, you know what yeah. Um, and uh, airplanes, I mean, I, I'm terrified of flying for the most part. Okay. Um, and uh, I have a ritual now when I fly, which is I have to have a magazine open to a smiling person. So I buy a magazine with a smiley face on it. Some <laughs> Like a, right, right, right. You can uh, analyze what's going on here. Well, it's uh, clearly, yeah. uh, you know, uh, 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 a <laughs> lack of power is your dilemma right yeah. there. You, yeah. you know, you feel you want to control uh, a universe That's which you exactly right. fear is ultimately hostile and out to get you. It's exactly <laughs> right. You're right. I'm pretty sure the universe is out to get me. I mean, yeah. But I, so I, I, I focus on a smiling person. I mean, and so going to places, you know, <laughs> jungles or deserts, uh, which are hot. And I know. Yeah. I, I, you, 
you oh, know. I know all about him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. But so, so what I, is it? Is it a kind of Indiana Jones character? Yeah, Indiana something? Jones character. He's an anthropologist who discovers a link between the seven wonders of the world. Uh oh. Um, and there's some really crazy stuff when you go into like the Taj Mahal. Right. Um, the Taj Mahal. It, it, it was built. It was the greatest love story ever told in a building. And then with this viciously, horribly violent ending. Um, it was built by this king in, in India. For his, for his wife. For his right. wife. Right. And he wanted to build her the most beautiful building in the world. Right. And he had 20,000 craftsmen, the best in the world, build it. And then when they were done, he cut off all their hands so they could never build another thing like it. And so these crazy stories people don't know, it also has seven levels beneath it that no one has ever been in and that the Indian government won't Well, how do they know they're in. there then? Well, they know. They know they're there because when it was built, there were plans for it. Right. But no one's been down there since it was built. And so all of the wonders of the world have these weird mysteries to them, and that's what I wanted to get into. Oh, so yeah. it's kind of like uh, like Da Vinci Code. Da Vinci oh, Code yeah. meets yeah, Indiana Jones yeah. meets... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you see, the cover is gold. It's gold cover. Ah. Right, right, right. right. Ah. <laughs> but I... I especially, I especially like that in, in the beginning of the show, it was next to the horse's butt. So I feel like it got great. Well, uh, yeah. you know, the, the, the horse's butt is, uh, is one of the seven wonders of the show. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you know, I'm looking forward to it. I like the way you write. So, Thank you. Uh, so it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a movie and... Uh, it's going to be a movie as well? Movie. Already? We're doing a movie. Uh, it actually, Rhett Ratner's going to direct it? do a big, big movie. He's going to produce it. And, produce uh, it? Who's going to direct it? And, I don't know yet. It doesn't matter if Brett Ratner is producing. He'll just bully the guy anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to do another one. I'm working on a second one now. So You're already well, working on the sequel? I am. I am. So I'm hoping that people like it and I'll keep writing these and uh, and keep going. Yeah. And keep oh. having to get out of my house, which is, is, is scary. Well, you know, <laughs> that's nice. And I do have that shirt. Do you have this shirt? Yeah, I do, yeah. Yeah. It looks better on you. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. You know, I, and when I say I would dress really poorly, I uh, dressed so poorly that one time I was walking my dog with my wife, and I sat down on the steps of the public library in Boston while she was buying something to eat, and a homeless man sat down next to me yeah. and looks at me and goes, you want to go to the liquor store? <laughs> Well, but that's the thing. In L.A., <laughs> yeah. that happens all the time. Yeah. yeah. Well, I knew. I knew. I was in the... Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, yeah. one of my... One of my I, when I go to Malibu sometimes, and a yeah. game I like to play there is uh, Billionaire or Hobo. <laughs> because... You, they kind of look the same. It's yeah. like, oh, kind of, yeah, I'm so rich, I can't even put on pants. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> vibe that they That's do. how you know you're rich. That, in L.A., for sure, yeah. yeah you, you, know can, you can't tell the difference. Yeah. The only way is that the rich people don't... Uh, it's, the teeth is a good way to tell, yeah, you have but to. not always because they could be British, and then that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I know. True. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, good times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're out of time, though. Oh, we're out of time. That's yeah, I think you should get some therapy about <laughs> I feel like this helped me. I feel like I'm a little better. When I fly home, I'll try not to look at the smile. Well, look, you know, I don't think the universe is out to get you. No. I don't think it's, uh, it's out there to help you either. <laughs> in, fact, in fact, Ben, it might yeah. not all be about you. <laughs> I've thought about that. I thought that's a possibility. I think Absolutely. Be right. uh, it yeah. could be that you yeah. exist within... A universe which neither hates you nor loves you, just Indif is. It's yeah. indifferent. The universe is indifferent. I like that. That should be my new uh, way to live. Uh, indifferent universe. <laughs> no, I think indifferent is... Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, all right. Well, why not? Uh, <laughs> baby steps, I guess. Yeah, little by little. All right. Well, yeah. good to see you. Thank you Excellent so much. Excellent shoes. Yeah. Like your shirt. And, uh, Whoa, the whole well done on the book. I'll let Thank you know you once I read it. All right. Let all right. Ben Medrick, everybody. Ben. Well, that's it, everybody. Uh, that was our show uh, on 9-11. Thank you for joining us. Of course, it's always a very difficult thing to, uh, to do the show on this day. Um, I never, as I was saying to Wendy, I never really know how to approach it. But I will say this, uh, you know, um, even although the job here is to make you chuckle and give you a smile before you go to sleep, uh, we will never forget the heroes and the victims of that day and the terrible memory of 9-11. But our job is to do what we do, and we hope we did it right tonight. But of course, we remember. Good night, everybody.